everyone and um, welcome back to this next studio vlog. I believe this is studio vlog number four now so thank you for coming along with me on the journey. If this is your first time watching um, please if you get a moment if you go back and look at the other three vlogs um, hopefully you'll enjoy the content as much as this one. So for today I've mixed it up a little bit. I'm going to have um, some footage of me behind the scenes working on one of my newest sticker sheets. Um, often when I'm creating stickers I either create the images myself and turn them into sticker sheets or as I've done today um, I pay for a license with a really um, amazing artist and I license out each image and I change them and make them a little bit different and then turn them into sticker sheets. Um, I think this is a lovely way of bringing lots of artists work together into one place um, but I definitely it's so important to follow the rules and to not claim the work as your own if you're working with somebody else's work so for that reason um, I've actually put a, a copy of the link in the description below and their name's Octopus Artist I've um, found them and worked with their images in the past I create card making downloads over on a site called Craftsy Print I'll actually uh, copy the link for that one as well, um, which is how I first got into doing artwork and design work um, making digital cards for other people to download and create and make their own cards to send to family and friends um, So that's really what I was doing before I then started setting up little bits um, on top of full-time teaching <laughs> So um, anyway, we're still in lockdown here and um, I'm going to um, hopefully you've seen a little bit of footage of snow That's all I want just a little bit of the white fluffy stuff um, But I put a little bit of that at the beginning um, by the way, please don't judge the hair. This is pre-colouring. Um, part of being in lockdown means I seriously got to colour my hair now. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this vlog. And uh, for the first time, I'm going to try and pop back at the end as well to say goodbye. Anyway, roll with the footage. Bye. So today I'm working on a new sticker sheet design for the Little Bits Creation Store and I thought I'd take you along in the process of how I'm going to finish up this sticker sheet. Now if I zoom a little bit closer you can see uh -huh, there's an Ellie the Elephant here and I'm currently finishing off this little snow leopard. Now sometimes I like to work with um, different artists and I get permission and I pay a separate license to use the images so today I'm really fortunate to be um, working alongside a company called Octopus Artists I'll put a link in the description below um, to where you can find their store on Etsy I believe they also sell their graphics on other platforms too um, but part of the provision of the license um, rightly so because it's a lot of hard work that goes into these designs I know how much hard work I put into my designs and then rearranging them as sticker sheets. Um, I think it's really important that we do give credit to graphic artists when we're using work um, because really they put the hard work in and if I click across to um, the file I was working on, part of the provision with the license um, is to actually add some extra features so that it's not exactly the same and I think that's a really good idea. Um, it's also nice so that when the sticker sheet is completed, so here's some little flowers here, um, that you don't get the exact same image that somebody else might decide to use for t-shirts and mugs and things like that so what I've got is a snow leopard here and I have um, have some little flowers that I've added on top I've given it a tidy up, removed some of the leaves just to, to make it a little bit more um, in line with a little bit style but still having that lovely image behind it so if I just show you, here's a snow leopard here um, you'll notice the edges aren't very smooth so what I've got is I've got a layer, I'm going to pop, click on that one here and I'm going to just put a layer underneath that one pop it down there and later on I'll probably group this and call it snow leopard just to make it a little bit easier I'm going to use a brush, opacity and flow 100% and 36% now if I zoom in a little bit um, it's not very smooth so I'm going to smooth it out a little bit more just on a layer underneath to create a much smoother almost like a line cut when the Cricut machine reads it so as you can see I didn't add a stroke because the floral elements were separate add on top okay, I'm just going to go across uh, down like that as well coming along and it just not only does it give it a smoother 
cut line it also looks a lot nicer too um, don't worry about the flowers for the moment I like to add in some elements of part of the flowers that I add on top of the images as well just as a little separate option really for customers I'm going to come around here I'm not worried too much um, of how even it is because when I added the stroke line I think it was stroke 12 for this one um, I know that I can come along like this now the Cricut machine does if the image was quite <coughs> excuse me small the Cricut machine does like to cut small parts but I want to make it a little bit easier so I'm going to continue to smooth it out over here okay just going to zoom out and have a look at that one okay yeah that's not too bad so zooming back in I'm going to take that layer remembering I've got the flowers as well so I'm just going to hold down shift all three layers control G and as you see last time I named the hippo so let's call it snow L a little bit easier for now okay now what I'm going to do is I've um, you can see I was playing around with a few before <laughs> I'm going to make sure there's the layer there let's just turn that old one off um, I'm going to actually probably keep that one there right click and duplicate because if I decide I don't like what I'm about to do with it I've got the old one now ready um, so now that they're together I'm going to actually go into uh, merge group so now it will just be one layer that I can move around and resize if I click on it control T zoom in a little bit okay I can rearrange the size of the snow leopard sticker design I might make him a little bit smaller again yeah that looks quite nice okay so back to the screen and I want to try and fit I've got an option three or four if I hold on alt again Photoshop you can turn on the grid line so that it matches up nicely now looking at this I know it's going to be too big but that's not a problem okay so remember I've named them so it makes it easy to find control T um, I can actually resize them while they're here just making sure he's not too little though remembering this is going to be a six by four inch sticker sheet but then a lot of people like to use them for their planners so it's finding that balance between making him too big or too small okay there we go so he looks quite cute I'm just going to click off so that they're not all linked um, and then we might as well I'll show you with a little flower down here so I'm going to add a stroke <coughs> Now I've already preset this, but if I want, I'll show you my settings. Um, so if I go into stroke and I've set it as 12, that's fine for now. Let's make sure that it has a smooth outline. I'm going to pop a layer underneath and zooming in still probably with that nine brush. Okay. So I, again, I've set up here 100% opacity, 100% flow, and the 36% smoothing just makes it a little bit easier and more fluid when you're going around the edges. Um, quite nice. The smaller elements um, are a little trickier to cut on the machine in terms of making sure the space is fairly even. So I'm happy with that. I don't think I'm going to save a separate layer. So I'm just going to um, probably merge those two together now. Call it flowers. I end up having so many layers in Photoshop um, I learned over time make sure you <laughs> name the layers makes life a bit easier so holding on to alt I'm going to drag that across I don't want it too close um, oh, that's quite cute I've also added some extra elements so I'm creating some hearts and my own hearts here to put on top if I zoom in so the original elephant actually had like a jagged paint effect edge so I've smoothed that over created some hearts and added it on I also extended the trunk there and then I've added some flowers in as well um, before turning it into the sticker design so there is a little bit of, of work I put into each image um, just to make it a little bit more uh, with my own style on top um, I'm quite happy with that one again 
looking nice we've got the bunnies now I was experimenting um, with some more flowers so looking at the size I'll control T I'll probably make that a little bit smaller which is fine and uh, let's show you the process so um, I need that little flowers Ooh. Uh, if I call that little flowers for now maybe little florals okay so I'm going to just making sure I've clicked on it this auto select is really handy um, but what I find is if I had lots of layers combined um, it will just move if I show you actually it's coming up here um, okay so if I go into the bunny I believe is currently still on separate layers so we're going to click over on the bunny and can you see um, that this bunny is made up of my outline and the bunny as well and if I was to just have that selected and drag it can you see it doesn't keep it together so if I undo that turning that off however means I could take the bunny layer as it is and move it around so I don't know if that's a useful hit, a little tip for you <laughs> okay anyway back to our flowers here we go so I'm going to turn auto select on just to really easily click on the flowers I'm going to go to um, layer layer style we're going to add a stroke there are shortcuts to get to this as well actually um, I think for this occasion I might just make the stroke 10 remembering I'm going to add a layer underneath we zoom in same brush even if it's a smaller image I still like to keep that same style brush to add a background here you go. And now making these sticker sheets often takes me quite a long time. I'm a bit of a, per a perfectionist. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Fumbling my words today. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, looks quite cute. Uh, I I don't want to keep it separate. I don't think either. Um, so let's just merge the layers for now. Okay, so I'm going into here and it's just a matter of having a bit of fun and playing around with fitting some of these elements in. It may or may not work out. As you can see, I'll have to move the hippo down a little bit. I'll probably move all of these hippos. So if you can see the hippos on a layer, so let's just turn that auto select off. I can drag, I can either drag or use the arrows. Um, he's quite cute. I think he's actually too big so let's have a little play around um, that size there is much better so this is really how I create my sticker sheets um, almost like playing a jigsaw puzzle when you were younger um, the hippo three you know, he's quite nice I may decide to go back and do individual sticker sheets with just elephants the leopard the bunny and the hippo uh, it depends how how popular it ends up becoming. I've had so much fun working with these graphics, so thank you to Octo uh, Octopus Artist. Okay, I think what we'll do is he's a little bit big, so I'm going to turn him off. Come back to this one. Probably going to keep that style, so turning off auto select, alt and drag across. Um, before I go, I thought you probably want to see that the overall sticker sheet does not have a black background at all. <laughs> um, the reason I have a black background is just so that I can see clearly um, how close the stickers are but that is what the sticker sheet at the moment will look like. Um, it's super super cute and um, again I'll make sure that I, I put a link in the description below and also link the name of the artist back in the listing um, when the sticker sheet goes up but hopefully by the time you're watching this you'll be able to head over to the little bit store and um, have a look and perhaps purchase a sticker sheet for yourself. Now one final comment is if you're interested in um, how I'm going to save this, at the moment it's actually, turn that one back on again, um, it's actually on going to save it as a Photoshop file early in Friends so I can save that on my desktop um, or on my hard drive but when I want to pull it into my Cricut machine I will need to save it as a PNG file um, so for now let's save it probably with the black for the moment and we're going to save it as Ellie and Friends and these are all my lovely stickers a little bit of a look there and uh, so I'm going to save it um, apologies for the noise yeah absolutely fine but then to pull it into Cricut I need to actually turn all the backgrounds off 
so that you have a transparent background. So I'm going to file, save as um, Ellie and Friends, but this time I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And I have a folder for all my completed Cricut designs. Um, so there's a load that I've been working on or are currently available in my store. So Ellie and Friends, PNG file, save. And the Cricut machine likes to have a transparent background so then when it's reading the registration marks it knows where to cut it out. It's also a nice way of me just finally checking that I'm happy with that and just going in a little bit closer, uh, popping the black back on. Can you see that there's a little bit of black there? Um, and the Cricut machine, if it's not completely solid, I don't think it will for this design, but it may decide it's going to cut out little bits there. And I discovered that the hard way one day by not fixing it or changing it. So what I can do is really, really easy um, to solve. I'm just going to pop a random layer underneath at the moment. And then with my brush, I'm just going to just go along. Um, remember, I've already saved the Photoshop file, so it's not a problem. And just... Um, you know, if I'd had a closer look when I was doing it, I might have spotted it then. But just making sure that it's not transparent where I don't want it to be. So there you go. It's super cute. Final one. And it doesn't really matter where this layer is because um, if I want to turn it into a different sticker sheet at another time, um, now that I've done it once, let's just zoom back. Okay, yeah, that's brilliant. So I'm going to just resave that as a Photoshop file first. Um, I always hear a loud beep on my computer. It's definitely time to save up for a new hard drive, but he's plugging along nicely at the moment. <laughs> okay, so I'll turn the black background off. Brilliant. And then I'll save that as the PNG file. In little bits of creations, completed sticker sheet. It'll say replace. Um, yes, please. Okay, so then uh, the next step is I'm going to load that into the Cricut Design Space and turn it into a sticker sheet by um, printing it out and cutting it on my Cricut machine. <laughs> Thank you.
So there you have it. I think this has been my longest vlog so far. Um, I'm really looking forward to knowing if you like the content that you've seen. I've had a few customers asking if I could do some footage of how I make my enamel pins um, from the sketch process all the way through to um, designing the proofs, contacting the manufacturer and so forth. So if you're interested in this, um, if you can let me know either over on my Instagram page or um, in the comment section down below, that would be brilliant. But um, no, thank you very much for coming along on this journey and um, I'm going to finish today with a little bit of packing footage. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Bye. I just need you, I don't know what it is you do